The bookmap chart displays important market data. It looks like there's a lot going on here, but it's actually quite straightforward and a very objective view of the marketplace. Basically, what we're looking at uh, is the historical best bid and offer, where volume transacted on the best bid and offer, and we're also looking at the evolution of the limit order book, where traders were lining up to deal uh, and trade at specific price levels. Uh, let's simplify it by breaking it down into these basic elements. I'm going to take off the volume dots and the heat map. Okay, what we're looking at here uh, is a book map historical view within this area right here. We also have an indicator panel down below in this area. We also have a volume display in bars here. So what we're looking at is just the historical best bid and offer. So we can see the green line is the best bid, the red line is the best offer. Now to the right of this vertical white line in this um, vertical rectangle here uh, is your current market window. The dashed green line is the best bid, the dashed red line is the best offer. And this number here represents the last traded volume on the best bid or offer. To the right of that we have our price ladder uh, and then we have our data columns here. We'll go over the data columns in another video but we'll, we'll cover the current order book. This is your dome here in bookmap. Your level one data is right here with your best bid uh, in the green rectangle and your best offer in the red rectangle. The depth here on the offer is above here up to this white line. These are market participants in the live market providing liquidity. They want to be sellers at these specific price levels. On the bid, uh, the depth here is below the best bid, down to this white line. These are buyers lining up uh, with their limit orders, providing liquidity at these specific price levels to buy. We see these numbers change constantly uh, all day long. Uh, liquidity is added and pulled within the market. Okay, we'll cover that in the heat map in just a minute, but let's just turn on the volume dots and we'll build upon the process here. Now we're just looking at where volume has transacted on the historical best bid and offer. Uh, let's zoom in a little bit. So what we're looking at here is the aggressor classification of volume. So if you see red dots like in some of these areas here, uh, on the best bid. These are market sell orders. It's classified as aggressive because someone paid up, they crossed the spread, they hit the market sell button, and they took liquidity off of the best bid. Uh, the green dots uh, represent market buy orders. Uh, they hit the market buy button and took liquidity off of the best offer. In Bookmap, we display every single discrete market event. Uh, you can see there are a lot of transactions that took place here. Uh, we're showing you exactly where they took place and how much uh, and giving you the overall delta in some of these areas. So you can see in Bookmap we're displaying the volume very much like a footprint chart. So uh, let me click on the hand tool and we'll zoom in and you'll see that um, uh, this pie display here which represents mostly selling uh, and then uh, a, a bit of buying, about a third of it is buying and two thirds of it is selling. Uh, and we'll continue to zoom in here. Okay? And you can see that as uh, I expand out the timeline, uh, I'm, I'm showing every single event that took place here. Okay? So this is what occurred uh, down at the uh, millisecond level and we can continue on. And I zoom in further and you can see that I'm splitting apart every single event. Uh, now we're down at the, the uh, microsecond level and we can see exactly what occurred here. Okay, But that's not really helpful unless you're testing algos. So let's start to zoom out and you can see that we visually aggregate all of that data here, trade data, into a bigger green dot. Okay, As I continue to zoom out, I'm just graphically aggregating this, this data here uh, into a bigger green dot. And as I continue, so much action and activity transacted here uh, that um, uh, we give it an overall uh, uh, aggregate here with the pie display, 
to show you that the majority of this area represents selling and uh, about a third of it was buying. Okay, so let's go back to the current market and let's switch on the heat map. Okay, uh, this grayscale heat map represents liquidity. Right, and let's we'll start here by describing the uh, the limit order book. Okay, the current order book over here. Um, uh, we know that this is liquidity and and participants lining up to trade at these areas. Uh, these numbers are given a graphical representation here in the live market window. Okay, so a bright area represents uh, high liquidity. We can see 1,266 uh, contracts at this area here is quite bright. Okay. Also, this 1273 is quite bright here on the offer. Okay. On the bid, uh, it's 1218 and 1226. Now, you'll see that uh, liquidity will be pulled or added, and you'll see the, the change here represented by that uh, in the grayscale. You'll see some of these areas get darker and brighter. Okay. Now, where it gets interesting uh, is all of this data here in the current market window is um, transposed onto the chart historically. So now we can see here in these striations uh, in the grayscale, it represents liquidity that was being added as it got brighter, and then as it got darker, liquidity was being pulled. So now we can start to see how price and volume starts to uh, react uh, and uh, relate here uh, with the liquidity uh, in the auction process of uh, participants providing their limit orders at these areas.